Hey everyone, so today I have here, this is the, <laughs> so I have the A1708 MacBook Pro here, and you see it is turning on, and what it's going to try to do is going to try to load, load, so anyways, it's going to take a while because I do already know kind of what's going on with this one. This is the A1708 2017 model. She said she went to another store um, a few months ago and they did do a replacement SSD uh, for this one. And that was the main issue. It was giving her a problem. These ones, if, if you know already about this model, the A1708 does have problems with SSDs. On our channel, we talk about this a lot. We've shown a lot about replacing it, about how to extract data from issues like these ones. But this is interesting because it's a replacement one and it's giving it's getting an issue. You can see it's still going. It's still taking its time. Um, when, it dro when it was dropped off here, I did see the kernel panic where it shows that there was a problem with this computer. But it was really interesting. She came back. She didn't want to go back to the other place because obviously she replaced it. Now she's still having problems on this one. Now, we do know this model, uh, the 128 gig and the 256 gig are affected. Those are the two ones that we do know for sure are affected. And if you actually check it out, you can check out your own serial number. And a lot of them are actually covered under a warranty uh, for it. Um, but you would have to go ahead and see that on the Apple's website. I, I have another video talking about that, right? I'm not going to really go into that. So if I hold option and we do see that there is a Macintosh HD there, that's actually there. And if we click, obviously it's going to do the same thing again. Um, I know I'm probably pretty sure that we are going to at least see the data. I'll skip to that part. I'm going to use a bootable that we have here. I've shown a lot in our other videos, especially on talking points for this one. But, um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually do, it. I'm going to boot from an external device, see if we can actually see the data here and I'll show you guys. And my trusty, we have a high Sierra tester here, which is really good. It's nice, especially for extracting data. We have another computer. Actually, it's really good. It sees data. Sometimes for like Catalina, Mojave, they actually won't see it. So we're able to boot. And this is the error I'm talking about that I came from before. Your computer started restored because of a problem. Press a key or wait a few seconds to continue starting up. And obviously, because it just had a problem there, uh, it's going to keep throwing a fit because there's a bad most likely a bad drive that's in there. So we can see right away we get incompatible disk because this is definitely an earlier OS. And we do see some drives here. We see update and we see Macintosh HD. And we go to users. And I'm going to cover up the name up here, but now we actually do see data here, which is good. So we do see that there's desktop documents, downloads, movies. A good way to actually check on it is if we go to uh, disk utility here. And we're going to see what type of drives in there and it says that it's an m17 256 drive which i don't believe is an apple drive and that's probably going to be giving you problems it does recognize that there's lots of things that it does do we can see the data and we're going to go ahead and back up the data before anything else goes wrong and we're going to go open the bottom of it because uh, i want to see exactly what type of drive is in there but we want to make sure the customer's data is safe so let's back it up first and then let's go pop open the bottom All right, let's go pop it up. And what do we see here? We see an aftermarket SSD in there. And that's that's most likely your problem. Now, you might be saying, well, it worked for a bit and there's probably just an OS issue. There can be other things, but that's not the point of having one of these type of drives in here. The point is that there can be other issues. So you see that there's actually an aftermarket drive in here. And this is the one that the Apple one usually has. You can see how clean it is, how nice, except the back there. We had like a sticker on it, but um, you can see the difference of it. It still fits. It's a very unique PCIe uh, connection here. And it's very difficult to even get date for to do data recoveries on this one because of the unique connection on here. And uh, it's not really fun to do that. And there's not a whole lot of options outside of going and getting uh, an Apple drive like this one but it's definitely gonna help avoid any possible problems because this is a very unique connection. It does have a unique controller, unique firmware. This is Apple we're talking about here. This is a special OS. This is pretty much like a walled garden. There's so much more than just a hard drive going on here, swapping it out like, it's not quite like the old ones where they use any type of mechanical drive or, or you can replace it with any type of SSD. This one's a very special, unique to Apple devices here. What's really the solution? What can you do? Well. The only real solution is we're, we can come back and we're, we're going to tell the, the, the customer is about this this problem, how this does happen. Um, I, did, I did let her know. I actually dealt with her. I did talk to her about how that can be an issue, uh, especially for the 128 gig and two, 256 gig and how those are uh, typical problems that we, we do see here quite a bit. Um, the real only way to avoid it is to get a 500 gig or higher 
wanted to avoid getting a 256 and a, and a 128 gig to avoid this issue completely. And Apple does make it extremely difficult for third party shops to actually get these types of drives and the and especially for new parts to put in Mac. So a lot of these ones that you see on the market are are used on like eBay and other places. You're going to see they're actually used, refurbished. And you're probably gonna have the same issue because they're the same type of drives that actually do go in here. Now we don't know exactly the model numbers, serial numbers that are specific to the hard drives because when you do these fixes for them, when you go to Apple, they update a firmware which usually fixes it. But you're wondering yourself, why is it just a firmware that that's updating it? Why is a hard drive also having a problem as well? Is it something to do with the OS? Is there something else connected? Is there another hardware? A piece that we're actually missing here but as you can see the the tech shop who did work on this their side of it and they can't um, be a and maybe some tech shops can't be a part of uh, Apple's program to be getting parts in because they do a lot of things to make you an Apple certified place and you have to go through a lot of different uh, loopholes just to get through that and it's a real pain to do that so a lot of third-party shops shops who fix things and do replacements are going to have a lot more trouble uh, getting these parts and now you have uh, a customer who is upset not about a solution that you provided probably at a pretty good cost i'm sure he probably i'm sure the shop probably gave him a really good cost and to try to make them and try to make the solution in their own way but now they're getting it two different ways that the, the customer is upset that they cut corners and they they weren't able to get official parts because that shop probably wasn't able to get it or had trouble getting it or wasn't sure of the issue because of what's going on to blame even Apple for their own parts and failures and stuff like that and make them hard to get parts. Just wanted you guys to know about more of this issue. I've talked about it so many times already, but it's good to, to know and see what other shops are doing, what other places are doing. Uh, that's and they're trying to make their own solutions based on a problem that isn't their actual problem. They're just trying to make a solution that's right for the customer at the right price. They're trying to do as best they really can. Um, we'll definitely give them the option because we want to avoid this completely. We'll give them the option of the 500 gig and see if they want to do, but at least we got the data, so everything looks to be good. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Take care. Bye.